Hey, my friend, how's it going? This is Jerome Shaw, creator of the Open Palm Podcast, coming at you with a message. And this is actually something that was brought to me when I watched an old interview. I think this interview was like back in the 70s with Wiley Brooks. And Wiley Brooks is a known breatharian. And um, I don't know if he's still alive today. He may very well still be alive today, but I know that back in this interview, he was a lot younger and he was talking to a gentleman on a, a show, like a talk show about breatharianism. And of course, you know, back in the 70s with Wiley Brooks and Jazz Maheen and people like that, people were just openly um, just shutting them down. You know, they were not trying to have it. And I'm so happy that during this interview, which is kind of like a lost interview, it's like, wow, you know, like, why don't more people even know about this? Um, but the, the talk show host was actually candid and he was, um, you know, not openly trying to shut down this way of living, but he was kind of listening to Wiley Brooks. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about what was heard when the question was brought up about why do people starve and why do other people's uh, journey end up different, right? Why are there some people that go without eating and they get frail and very skinny and they seem to starve? Why do some people go on strike and say, we're not gonna eat, you know, we, we, we want better pay or, or something like that. And they go on strike and, you know, or why do some people fast, right? And different things happen to different people. We're gonna talk about that. Because his answer inside the interview was that the difference between me, someone who is consciously not eating, I've made the conscious choice not to eat anything solid, no solid food. The difference between me thriving, not just surviving, but thriving and them starving and dying. He said that they wanted to die. Now, let me talk about this because I think this could be misconstrued or this could be something that could confuse some people. You might say, like, what, what do you mean? They wanted to die. Like, who wants to die, right? What I think he was trying to illustrate and trying to say in this interview was that there is a difference between somebody who is not eating because they are rebelling against something, rebelling against a system, or they are not eating to deprive themselves, right? or they are fasting for a certain reason, and in their minds, they are depriving themselves of a resource or something that they think is keeping them alive. There's a big difference, big difference between that and somebody who is consciously choosing to stop eating because they understand that that is not what keeps them alive, that the breath is what keeps them alive, and they want more of what keeps them alive to thrive in their body. It's a difference between somebody who is consciously choosing a breatharian way of living, a pranic way of living, because they feel good, right? Because it feels better than stuffing themselves with food that makes them feel overburdened, over encumbered, heavy, dense, right? And they understand that the lighter they feel, the more light is allowed in the body. There's a difference between somebody who is saying that I'm going to stop eating because of a certain cause, of a certain thing, right? than somebody who says it for health reasons, right? So there's a big difference. And that difference in your mind makes all the difference in your world. Your mentality is literally creating your reality. So at a very basic level, so that we don't make this long, I wanna let you know, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. If you say to yourself, and anything you say to yourself or anything, you know, the mind is always listening, right? The mind that never sleeps. If you say to yourself, I cannot survive without food. I can't live without food. I need my carbs. I need my protein. I need all this stuff. I need all this stuff. I can't go on without this. I can't go living without this. If you say that, you are right. You are correct, right? But if you say to yourself, I can live without food. I do fine without food. Actually, I feel better without eating. I feel better feeling lighter, feeling more, you know, enthused, more excited, more enlightened, more 
unburdened, more um, energetic, more alive. I feel all these things when I don't eat. I don't need to eat. I don't need food to survive. All that I need is within me now. All that I need is within me now. If you say these things, you are right. You are correct. So only you can validate your chosen way of living. You may get inspiration from another person who is living in a way that you never knew was possible. But even after watching them and seeing their story, you must have it for yourself. Nothing is more powerful than your own self-realization. And when you realize that, your life will change. Indeed. So thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on YouTube here. For more inspiration, check it out on the Open Palm Podcast, wherever podcasts are played, wherever you find yours. And enjoy that for your listening pleasure. I am now at this time offering breatharian coaching and mentorship for anyone who wants it. If you're looking for any tips, advice, anything, any questions that you have on this journey and you want more information from me, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Click the link down below in the description and we'll get talking and I'll tell you everything that you'd like to know and I'll answer any questions that you have. All right, my friend, looking forward to talking with you and looking forward to helping you on your breatharian journey. Have a wonderful and blessed day or night, wherever you are. And as always, take care.